In the metals quadrant, gold with some sideways action today is down about 50 basis points or a half of 1%, but gold has been trading sideways on lower volume with a slight, slight downtrend over the last three days or so. You may look at it more as a higher range. This is all part of that range trade where the range is now shifted up between about 1220 to about 1240, where for prior weeks and weeks, the range was about 1188 to about 1218. So we got that breakout, we traded in that range, and really the dollar correlation has kind of broken down. The upside move to the higher range in gold was correlated with an upside move in the dollar, not necessarily day to day, but we did have the dollar move from about, on the dollar index, from about 94 up to 97, at the same time that gold was going up to this new range. So the dollar has not really been a reliable driver for gold medium term. Day to day, you still see that inverse correlation when one or the other moves in large swings. But within that range, you can't really count that as a large swing. So the dollar may not necessarily be the driver of gold in terms of the overall trend. But surprises from the midterm could change gold's trend. Now, if gold's trend is sideways, what do I mean by that? Well, you're looking at a situation where if the stock market collapses based on a switch of the entire Congress to the Democrats, that could weaken the dollar and therefore spike gold. That will be a new trend, since all we're seeing now is a new sideways channel. Vice versa, if the Republicans keep everything and the dollar spikes, you could see gold collapse. Now, it doesn't mean that that's gonna be the outcome, but the dollar will relate to what happens with the stocks, and at least in the short term, you could see gold react to that as well.